Our chapter today from the Bible is Genesis 36, and our verse is verse 1. These are the generations of Esau. I have a friend who has two daughters. The older one has stayed faithful to her upbringing and values, while the younger one has strayed far from them. The younger feels she has grown up in the shadow of the older. We all have known people who have grown up in the shadow of others. It often causes resentment and problems. Esau lived his life like that. Jacob was the one chosen for God's purpose of raising up a people. Esau felt resentment most of his life. At the end, the brothers patched things up, but Esau was always in the shadow of Jacob. That legacy even lasted to the New Testament. Yet we're told that God did not forget Esau. He loved him just the same as Jacob. That comment in uh, Malachi 1 and Romans 9, where it says, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated, was used as a hyperbole and was never intended to be taken literally. That aside, even though Esau forsook his birthright and lost his blessing, God still cared about him. God still blessed him with a family and with a future. These are the generations of Esau. The shadow of his younger brother did not veil Esau from God. Today, perhaps you feel hidden from God's sight. Maybe you feel that God has forgotten you. You may even feel that you deserve it, that you're very forgettable. You have blown every opportunity that God has given you to make him proud. Well, be encouraged, my friend. God has plans for you, big plans, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that no matter how far we may stray, you keep your eyes on us. We believe in your love, O oh Lord, and we walk in assurance through Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.